Hey guys, I decided today that, well it's tonight really, but um, that I was going to do a reading for Libra because I haven't done very many for them and their playlist is a little slack on my channel so I decided that I was going to pull a reading for Libra. Um, you know how I do my driving and reading cards, but you know, I'm not doing anything completely wrong. I'm not picking up a phone or anything. That's one thing I give a shit about is like not holding your phone. You can hold cards though, so we're good. Alright, so, if you guys are ready, I've got the deck, and I've got another thing I want to do as well, but I feel like this is going to be the first thing I'm going to do, is just pull out the deck. I'm using the Neon Moon Tarot, the pink and pretty black one that's like absolutely gorgeous, and I just ran a red light, but whatever. Um, one more weekend, woohoo! Alright, now, the first card I got for you, I can't even fucking see it, the Three of Wands. All right, so, Libra, you're in your head about something, and you're contemplating something, and I'm not really sure if it has to do with travel somewhere, maybe, like, over the water, because this card, I think, is the card that can represent that, but I don't get that more so for you. I more so get that you're striving for that balance that you are so known for, um, and that harmony, and that happiness, but at the same time, you're having to really sit and think what you need to let go and what you need to continue to move forward and like what path is good for you. All right, so the next card that I got for you guys, let me get up here where I can see a little bit better. Oh shit, what did we get? All right, we got the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Damn, it's kind of a sad one already. So basically, the energy, the thing that's putting you in this mentality is that contemplation. Like, the contemplation, you're being a little cold. You may be coming off as cold to other people. Um, you, but you're full of truth. Like, there's nothing you're saying that's false. They, I mean, even if they don't like it, the things that you're going round and round about are actually things that need to be gone round and round about. And because the people around you are not taking it seriously or they don't put as much effort into it, if, if at all, um, it puts you in a pissed off, cold type mood towards this person or towards the situation. But honestly, like, anybody would get that way after so long. I mean, it's understandable. In my opinion, it's completely understandable. All right, let's see here. The next card that I got for you, Libra is going to be the four. Oh, fuck. It's just the emperor. Never mind, Libra. The emperor. What the hell? All right. These are weird cards, and it's dark, and I'm trying to see in the dark, so forgive me for looks at it all like dirt to But with this card is the emperor. Queen of Swords to the emperor, man. They kind of are similar in a way, in my opinion, in this reading. Like, I feel like one is you and one is the other person that you, you could be... Um, an Aries or a Taurus, but it may not be, just maybe that type of energy, but whoever you're dealing with, that's the person you're having to contemplate about, that's the situation you're having to contemplate about, has you and this Queen of Swords energy because you have to be cold, this person already thinks they're the damn emperor, but I feel like they're full of shit, and you're having to really sit and think, do I want this, do I want this, do I need this in my life, is this worth it, is this shit worth it, you know? Um, man. Let's see what your verse is. Oh, shit. I can't read this. All right, your verse is James 2.17. 7.1.2, baby. In the same way, faith by itself, if it's not accompanied by actions, is dead. All right. So, what this is saying is that you know when people say that, like, you can't just walk the walk or talk the talk, you have to walk the walk, okay? That's the same type of energy that the other, that this Bible verse is giving me for you. Um, you can't claim to know the Word of God and to be a holy person if you're not walking in that way, or you can't at least try to prove that, or you're not trying to live like Yeshua, or you're not trying to do these things the right way, you know, that's like a hypocrite, and I feel like it's telling you that you might be contemplating on this other person for something they're doing, but are you doing it too? 
You know what I mean? Are you doing it too? Or maybe you don't realize you're doing it. Maybe this is your wake-up call. Maybe I, you don't see that. Are you really doing the same thing just in a different way back to this person if you're not giving them an answer either? And how is that fair to them if you're mad at them for doing it to you? I'm not trying to get on anybody here. I don't give a shit. No, it's not my circus, not my monkeys. But at the same time, you know, it is what it is. I'm not trying to call you out or be judgmental because, like I said, I don't care. I'm just reading as I read. Um, but what I'm getting is that you may be the problem too. Not one. Takes two to tango. Um, but also with this card, it's also saying that don't forget... You know, sometimes it's good to do those little things that reinforce your faith, that reinforce what you believe, that reinforce the Word of God, or reinforce the good things and the good juju or whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to do that sometimes because I think, you know, you're in that striving for balance that you so seek and justice and, and integrity and trying to see all sides. You are so full of logic and it's great and intellect, but you don't have a lot of the spiritual and the intuition and the emotional things down pat yet. And, you know, that's where you can learn from possibly water signs um, or people that if you have any or whatever to be more open. And now you can way fuck up with being too emotional because on the other end of that spectrum are people like me and other water signs to where we're fucking walking disasters because... We soak in energy all the time and then we are constantly trying to figure out what the fuck is ours and what the fuck ain't. And it's exhausting. And so, you know, it's one of them things where you get too emotional and you don't put any logic behind it. So, you know, one way or the other. I feel like the people that are the earth signs really have the balance down pat. And I'm saying this because... They're able to function in the real world, logically, to be able to succeed. I mean, you can't be a dumbass and make money. I mean, you can, but you know what I mean. you got to be able to do something. Whether it's just fucking pushing a cart down the fucking road and selling hot dogs, you got to be able to do something, right? Okay. So, we've established that. Now, that means that they're able to do that. And they're also able to take a step back and realize when business partnerships are important, when camaraderie is important, when emotions and love and feeling and things of that nature are important, they can do that as well. I don't think that they have it as much either or. Like, they, they have the balance of both, but they're not really, like, pros of either one of those. They can just do it, you know? And I, I feel like we should try to balance that energy sometimes. Like, don't be materialistic, but just be able to look at life through a different lens, perhaps, maybe. But... I don't know. That is what it is. And I hope you guys like my crazy driving and pulling cars reading. But uh, if not, I'm sorry. I hope, it, I hope it resonated. If it didn't, then whatever. Check a different sign or just whatever. But I hope you guys have a great night. Talk to you later.